So starting to clean things up. I'm getting a little closer to firing it up again. And uh, I'm just uh, fixing the ceiling, which has sagged ever since we bought this this bus. A lot of the, the support straps that go uh, between the ceiling panels have come apart. Like this one has to be replaced. So what I did, so I bought some new ones, but first of all, I used some uh, PL industrial adhesive and I've uh, propped all of the sagging panels up. And then um, I'm replacing them all. There's an old yellow one. And this, I just threw this one on just to see how it would look. This is one of the new ones. It's in there really nice. Nice and tight. Holds everything up. And uh, yeah, so up here, I've got the dash kind of roughed in. So I'm not super happy with it. I'm going to pull this all apart next winter and redo it. But I, we want to get this bus on the road so we can enjoy it this summer. Go on a trip or two. So I've had to rush a little bit. And I'm not much of a woodworker, but whatever. I'll get someone to do a better job next winter. So I took the old uh, doghouse table and cut it down to fit the new doghouse. And uh, I've got some stainless steel cup holders to replace the old cigarette lighter and the old little tiny cup holder. i got two for each side. I still have to build the toe kick here on this side uh, and the um, breaker cover. And I've got a panel ready to go over this side here. Uh, but I think I might need to run some more cables yet down the, down the A-pillar, so I'm leaving that for last. And yeah, so I've got the dash in. So I had to lengthen all the wires. So there's probably, I don't know, 200 maybe uh, wires connecting all the gauges and the main um, circuit board behind the, the big gauges and the uh, information uh, panel on the top there. And every one of these switches has somewhere between four and, and eight uh, wires. So they all had to be lengthened a foot. So that was a week of doing that. But anyway, I've got everything in there. Uh, what else? I put a, uh, this is the master shutoff for the house uh, 12 volt. And the way Bluebird had it, a lot of stuff did not run through that switch. So whenever this thing was turned off, there was like a two and a half to three and a half amp draw, which meant it had to be plugged in constantly or have the batteries disconnected in some other way. So I ran all of the 12 volt through here and uh, I guess going down the road, I can pull out a few circuits like uh, uh, propane sniffers and that kind of thing if I need them to, you know, be powered full time. But for the most part, I want to turn way more stuff off than Bluebird did. And on this side, I've got the uh, I've got the little panel. That's the ignition key and the parking brake valve. That's all hooked up. And uh, yeah, so um, I've plugged all this stuff in, so everything powers up. So this is the, um, uh, what's the, uh, six, five, eight, what does it say? Six, five, eight, five, nine, four kilometers. It's about 400,000 miles or something on this thing. This is the new, um, Freightliner road relay that I bought. Freightliner, the company that does things right. So that's cool. Yeah. So I guess I could probably turn the key and it would spark up, but I'm not quite ready. I think I've got some things hanging down by the fan and and a few other little odds and ends, but maybe next video I'll fire it up for the second time.